Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I've been really busy lately so um, I didn't really have time to be making uh, weekly videos as I had previously planned. But uh, with that said, it is the end of the year now so uh, I hope everyone had a good Christmas if uh, you celebrate Christmas and, uh, and uh, happy holidays to all. And uh, the new year is about to come, so happy new year and uh, I really hope that 2022 will be a uh, better year um, for everyone and I will certainly be making more content, more diverse content and not only focusing on crypto but there are also other hobbies which I wish to focus on, um, things to do with the ESP8266 for example or the Raspberry Pi, there's so many projects I can do with those boards. As, of course, as well as the, these Arduino boards, there's so many projects, sensors, um, Internet of Things, and also a lot of uh, programs or new features of the Raspberry Pi that uh, I've yet to share uh, with you guys. And, uh, and it may um, be interesting to some of you, so I do wish to, um, in the future, cover those on, and make a video on, on the YouTube channel. And in terms of crypto, uh, um, this year, just to recap a bit of what I have done on the channel, I started off this channel focusing on Duino coin, um, and this was a few months back, around four or five months back. I really enjoyed Duino coin when I first started mining the coin, and it was quite fascinating, fascinating to me how you could actually mine a cryptocurrency on an Arduino board. As previously, I had used Arduino board just for normal projects with interfacing with sensors and doing various uh, tasks. But mining cryptocurrency on an Arduino board was something that I did not really consider. I knew there were ASIC miners, I knew there were GPU um, setups, GPU mining rigs uh, used to mine Ethereum, for example, but I didn't really expect uh, the developers of Duino coin to be making a coin that can mine, uh, uh, which, which can be mined using an Arduino board. So um, that was certainly something that I was quite invested in and I did a lot of research on it. I joined the Discord server, and um, by then, um, after a few months, I, I really enjoyed mining uh, Duino coin. And then, uh, recently, a uh, few months ago, I've been mining Coin Maggie. Coin Maggie is another coin. It's decentralized. It's a bit smaller than the much bigger coins, but I mainly mine it on the Raspberry Pi. And for a bit on Coin Maggie, there are exchanges such as the Duino Coin Exchange and BTC Pop, for example. I'm not sure if Moondex still accepts Coin Maggie, but you can still uh, exchange uh, Coin Maggie on the Duino Coin Exchange and BTC Pop as well of uh, as well as uh, OTC trading, of course. If you go onto the uh, Coin Maggie server or the Duino Coin server, there are people trading uh, that coin for other coins there. So you can check that out. And there are also a few things that I want to. Uh, inform you guys about specifically Duino coin news what's going on firstly um, this is a recap of what's been going on in uh, I would say the previous two months firstly bounties are something which the Duino coin developers have added if you have found it, or if you're finding any issues with um, the Duino coin or anything related to Duino coin whether it's the code or maybe there's a bug um, make sure to go on the GitHub repository and state your problem and ping uh, one of the developers there and make sure you state that you are part of, part of this bounty program because the good thing about it is um, by doing this they encourage people to actually um, identify problems with Duino coin, uh, report it and as a result you, you are going to get a, an amount of Duco which um, the developers will give you for reporting that problem. So it just helps the community and it helps, uh, certainly helps the project as well. In addition to that, you may be finding that there are server problems um, which have been going on for the past two months and due to the increasing amount of users who are getting on the network, who are mining uh, Duco and because there's only such a limited amount of servers, they are definitely um, some server problems which you may have found, but I've heard that a lot of people are mining uh, perfectly fine. But if you do, make sure to uh, report your issue um, on the Discord or the GitHub repository. It does help the developers identify the problem. 
Um, I know that there are a few pools which are at 100% CPU, they are being overloaded. So I think that is something that the developers will be uh, looking into and hopefully resolving. In addition, there is a Duino coin app which have been released on the, uh, the Google Play Store for Android. It's called the Duino Coin Companion. Um, it simply allows you to track your miners and um, see, for example, how much you're making, the hash rate and all of that, just to uh, keep an eye on whether your miners are working. And I will leave links to basically everything I'm saying in the description so you can go right to that. And in addition to that, if you're interested in supporting the Duino Coin project, there's the Duino Coin store. You can access once again through the uh, link in the description. You can buy typical merchandise, uh, uh, sh sweaters, shirts, uh, mugs from, from there. So uh, be sure to check that out if you would like to support the project. And lastly, something I would like to talk about is Duco Cloud. It's been released by one of the developers. His name is Furim, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, it's basically a platform where you can sell your mining hash power. Um, so for example, if, I'm, if I don't have a mining rig and I want to mine Duino coin, I could use, it uses TRX, also known as Tron, where you, could, you can use Tron to buy mining hash power. Or for people who want to rent their rigs on the network, they can rent it out, they can sell their mining hash power, and they will earn, uh, of course, the Tron TRX from the people who's willing to, to pay for it. And as, as a result, you earn Tron, they earn Duco if you're selling your mining hash power, of course. So I'll put the link in the description. You can check that out. That's something which is new and I think it's quite a good idea. So that either way, both parties in the end will be earning something and both will be uh, satisfied. Uh, with that said, I did do a, um, a Duino coin giveaway in the previous video, but um, there really was a lack of entrance um, of people who entered the giveaway. Um, in the comment section below. So I will save the giveaway. It's 5 by 50 Duco. I will save it for when uh, we reach 500 subscribers. I will be giving uh, more away and adding it to the, uh, the total prize, uh, the prize pool. Anyways, with that said, this is just a, a short video on the 2021 recap. Um, into 2022, um, I guess there will be more content on this YouTube channel. Um, thank you so much for all of the support. Um, I really never imagined us to be reaching, I think we are now around 381 subscribers. So it's certainly a milestone for me. I didn't uh, expect so many subscribers. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or you know any future videos which um, you would like to see, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do want to get into uh, Bitcoin mining. Um, ASIC mining, I know that there are USB miners out there um, specifically for Bitcoin, those USB ASIC Bitcoin miners. So um, if you are willing to sell any of those, if any one of you has any and are willing to sell it for, of course, an affordable price, uh, make sure to uh, leave a comment or I am on the Duino Coin Discord server and a few other discords. So you can message me on Discord or you can leave a comment and we'll get in touch. With that said, thank you very much for all of the support on the videos, uh, all of the comments as well. And uh, I will see you uh, next year.